All right, YouTube. I'm gonna do a what goes with me every trip here, just so you guys can see. <clears throat> so I picked up these Abu Garcia Max X STX rods in uh, five foot six with a uh, it's a medium or like a light fast action. Um, <clears throat> this one's lined with P line floor clear coated. It's my spinning rod. I always have a spinner tied onto it. Uh, MEPS number one right there with the red blade, red and white blade. Keeps rotating. <clears throat> I love MEPS spinners. Um, <clears throat> this one here is my long reach rod, uh, soft plastic, same rod, same reel. I, I personally, I love it. Um, this one's lined with P-line fluorocarbon four pound test and this is my soft plastic lines for bigger creek <clears throat> this one was my old primary rod until i switched to the abu Garcia stx max's uh presidential fluger i've had this reel for 10 years never gave me a problem um it's lined with four pound p-line fluorocarbon and this is my tight areas small stream rod soft plastics <clears throat> now we'll go over the bag here we'll lay the bag out Okay, so they were out of P-Line fluorocarbon, so now we're, we picked up this. It's always good to have it, four pound, still fluorocarbon, never used it, but uh, Berkeley Vanish. For those of you wondering how we cast so far, that P-Line fluorocarbon makes a huge difference. Give me a second here. That's so much crap in this bag. Here's uh, more P-Line fluorocarbon a half, four pound test. Up here, this is where I keep like my, my uh, I don't know why I have this in there, but uh, gulp worms. Uh, I keep cans of chew in there. I know it's a disgusting habit. Here, uh, the best headphones ever made, noise canceling, um, deep bass. It, it, they're really good. Um, getting this, this is like my water slash GoPro side of things. So we carry. Uh, 40 ounces of ice water, Zulu uh, container, holds ice all day. And uh, two spare water bottles, full of water. I also carry an extra pair of scissors in that front pouch, uh, just in case. Here we got our GoPro, our GoPro accessories. Um, You don't need to see the mounts, right? Nah. I don't really use any mounts anyways, but uh, we'll carry this waterproof bag with about 15 batteries. This is my primary camera, Hero 7. Um, it's my backup camera. It's currently bricked. Uh, GoPro here at 8 but sometimes it don't even turn on I've only used it three times and I am not happy with it an extra charger in case I'm going through batteries like crazy in the hot weather battery bank uh, will charge batteries for a couple weeks got a battery charger SD cards Blank ones on this side, ones that need edited or transferred over to the computer on that side. Not too juicy stuff. <clears throat> These are our spinners. These are all like uh, Joe Fly spinners for extremely low level water, not a lot of current. These do really good mid to late summer, early fall, late fall. This is my, kind of more like a lake box here. Got, um, yeah, just deep water stuff, divers, crankbaits. I don't use them a lot. Here's all like our MEP spinners and like uh, just random stuff. I like to use these in just any water condition, really. Deeper water, average water, deeper. 
Here we got blue fox spinners. They're new to me. Caught one yesterday on it on the first cast. I'm kind of liking them. Extra soft plastics. Um, these are my go to. This is pretty much what I use primarily. Bigger fish, bigger fish. Um, these are more. We don't have a lot of experience with them. These are new, haven't used these yet. Smelt color, really good this time of year. Cheese yellow, good for late fall. White, junk. Brown, more whites. Obviously you can tell I like the whites. Cheese yellow. Now let's go into the vest. We have a pair of forceps. Pair of snips in case a weight needs snipped. Pliers on a retractable. Uh, more soft plastics. No experience with them. This is my go bag. This is where I keep everything kind of easily accessible. Obviously, our magnetic net. And more soft plastics. So these ones are opened. Smelt collar minnows, the regular minnows, my bubblegum pink's always my go-to. These did really good at Middle Creek. They're rainbow colored, one cheese yellow. These are good for like bigger fish, big palominos, bubblegum shad or pink shad, and red. Also don't use them much, so they're gonna go in the bag. That's uh, here, keep our weights hooks i like to use uh anywhere from size 8 to size 12 hooks uh this is my primary weight bb size and micro split shots for when the water is super low but yeah that's what's in the bag